Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American Expat, and uh, hopefully you're having a great weekend. It's Saturday evening as I'm recording this, so that's why the weekend is on my mind. I don't know when you're going to be watching this, but uh, just the same. I, I saw these uh, these news articles. You'll have to bear with me here while I pull this up. That uh, There's a lot of news that's been happening. I know there's the terrorist attack that just took place um uh, yesterday, I believe it was, in Moscow. It could have been before that. I just haven't been following the news as close as I used to. Uh, now I think that I'm going to rectify that mistake. You, know, you, you, you blink, and then it's like the whole world has changed. Anyway, that uh, I do want to talk about here, but I'm going to do that in the next video. This I want to talk about this lawsuit that the uh, Department of Justice has brought against Apple and, you know, I remember hearing something about this, somebody suing, uh, I guess it was a, a game company, over uh, their control of the app store and all of that, not allowing third-party apps. Well, the Department of Justice has decided to sue Apple as well, only uh, it's not over that. It's over, like, uh, the Apple Watch, and not because it stole someone's technology, that already happened, but uh, because they feel like getting the Apple Watch locks you into the Apple uh, what would you call it, ecosystem, and makes it difficult for you to switch to Android should you choose because your Apple Watch won't work on Android. So apparently that's bad. So they're going to go after Apple because they, uh, they, they, they don't you know, have as much of the, uh, the third-party functionality, I guess, that Android does. I'm going to tell you, I don't agree with this. I, I think this is ridiculous. I don't know why they're going after Apple like this. Maybe they've got a a grudge anymore you know in the past you'd feel like okay well you know the government doesn't work that way they don't do things because they've got a grudge or something like that but the biden administration is kind of demonstrating that that yes they do i uh, suspect it's because they didn't give the government some information that they wanted or they didn't do something quite the way they wanted or maybe when tim cook appeared with donald trump somehow that was offensive to them i don't know what it is uh, to be honest it looks to me like they're trying to weaken the biggest that we have, you know, like Android isn't necessarily just one thing. If you know how the phones work, every phone can be Android, except iPhone. It's the one that isn't. And it's the uh, the big one, you know, that everybody wants to have. Well, not everybody. Maybe you want to have uh, an Android phone. I have an Android phone and I have an iPhone. And right now I'm feeling like I like the iPhone uh, the way that it works better. I go back and forth. There's some times when I feel like, gosh, I'd like to have more flexibility in what I want to be able to do. Um, and then I'll be like, it's too buggy. It's too stupid. Uh, I don't want to just put a skin over the same old thing. Uh, you know, the iPhone is a little cleaner. I kind of like that. And, you know, then it was back to the camera situation, being able to have, you know, better quality or higher bit rate in the video on the Samsung. That doesn't mean, you know, like every Android, because, you know, some of the crappiest phones in the world are Android phones. But, um, yeah, that's changed now. Now the iPhone 15 Pro Max, Titanium, whatever it is, has better video than what the Android phone can do. I'm sure that that'll be rectified with some kind of software change. I, I don't know. I'm not sure what the limitations are when it comes to Android versus the iPhone where they can, you know, it, it works perfectly because it was designed for the phone. Um, whereas Android is just, you know, like a generic, it's like Windows, right? Every computer runs on Windows except for Macs and those that people have chosen to put other operating systems on. But the, my point is that Windows doesn't work perfectly because it's designed to be universal. So it's got a bunch of ridiculous stuff that your computer doesn't necessarily have support for, and so it has bugs and problems all the time. That's where all those bugs come from. It's because Microsoft Windows wasn't designed specifically for your computer, it's, uh, yeah, so it's got a bunch of crap in there that you don't need. Whereas the iOS operating system, or Mac OS, not iOS, that's the iPhone, you know, it, uh, it's designed specifically for the system and it works perfectly most of the time. It doesn't work perfectly all the time. But when there's a problem, it's because there's a real problem, not uh, because the program itself is the problem. Where am I going with this? Yes, Android is like Windows. So it's got a lot of crap in there. Even if you have the coolest, most awesome phone, like when I got my uh, S23 Ultra, that was the latest at the time. 
and you know, oh wow, it's so awesome, but it has it still has bugs because let's face it, underneath the skin that Samsung put on there with their UI, you know, operating skin, whatever it is, it's still just Android and yeah, it wasn't designed specifically for that phone. So there you go. I know that they work closely with Google to try and come up with stuff, but let's face it, Google is competing with them with their own phone, and I'm sure that there is, you know, maybe if you got the Google Pixel, it would be better. But anyway, we were talking about this lawsuit. I feel like, you know, if you're buying the Apple Watch and the iPhone, you know what you're getting into. You know what you're getting into when you buy it. So for the government to come in after the fact and say, oh, well, you know, that's uh, unfair to people who bought into the system. Well, they knew what they were getting into. Let's face it, you know, they got it because they wanted the iPhone. They wanted the Apple stuff because it's better. Or maybe they think it's cooler. I don't know. Better lasting. Let me, I mean, I have had iPhones that still work like the iPhone 5S if it was still supported. I have one that still works perfectly. Um, at least it would if I could use it. Maybe it still does. Maybe you can. I've not seen that anybody is using it. But Android stuff, uh, let's face it, it tends to uh, to break down. Anyway, yeah, I, I just feel like that's ridiculous for the federal government to come out and start trying to sue Apple because, you know, the ecosystem thing. <laughs> it's like that's what you got into. What did you expect? Uh, I don't hear many people complaining about that. Maybe they are. Maybe you have complaints about that. Did you get into the Apple ecosystem and now you feel like you've been cheated? I uh, Or, you know, the other way around, like you have your Android thing and you're like, well, gosh, why doesn't my Samsung watch work perfectly with my iPhone? That's not fair. And you could say, well, it's because they don't have the same operating system. And that's not Apple's fault. But the federal government is suing Apple just the same. Just my thoughts on it. I think it's ridiculous. You'll have to let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys in the next one.